Today in the Boot Guy, we're talking about the Scarpa Mojito. Last month, I had this great exchange going on with a guy named Brian. Him and I were discussing outdoor shoes and which shoes you can really take from the outdoor world and put them into the work world and still get a really good, comfortable boot, depending on the type of work you're doing. So I put together a top five list, he put together a top five list, and number two on his list was something that never came on my radar, was this Scarpa Mojito. Now they've been making this shoe for a really long time and personally, I've never crossed it, mainly because I've never had any use for really a low cut type shoe like this. But once he put it on there, once I started looking at it, I had to get a pair and get my hands on them and just really look them over. So what impressed me the most is the Vibram Spider Sole. Now this is that sticky, gluey type hiking material that they use on all the really high-end hiking and approach shoes. This is a great compound and this sole applies in the work world for somebody who's got to walk a lot. For somebody who's got to climb, somebody that's indoors and doesn't want to wear your basic everyday run-of-the-mill gym shoe or classic work shoe, wants something that's more supportive and really grippy, the Mojito has got that going on. Now the upper is made of a suede. It's not waterproof by any means, but because of the way it's put together, the direct attach, the stitching and everything else, this thing can be sprayed down with some silicone spray and treated to keep some of the water out of these sections here and here. Now in the tongue section, because it'll lace the toe, because it follows that classic rock climbing look. I mean, it does look just like a rock climbing shoe. It's not a rock climbing shoe. It's a little bit too tall and everything else. It is a walking shoe. But because it follows that look with the rubberized toe, and this lacing system, getting it to be waterproof in these sections here is gonna be virtually impossible. I mean, you can spray it and treat it all you want, but it is the tongue is opened up in there. Now, what had me most impressed about the Mojito was when I put it on. It was really comfortable. It wasn't like your typical fashion, outdoorsy type shoe, which is really just made for drinking coffee on Saturday afternoons or hitting your local brewery. It's a really good shoe and it feels supportive. Unlike most of the shoes, which just kind of feel a little, you know, soft and mushy, this thing actually hugs your foot. And because of the lacing system, you can really tighten it up into places where you normally can't tighten down other shoes that are basically compiled of mesh fabrics and soft suede. Now inside the Mojito, they lined it with a material called Velatina, which is more like a a soft polyester than anything else. It's just a fancy name for it. But underneath that, underneath this basic air transference insole, and this is a very thin insole. I mean, the nut, this is nothing like some of the work insoles that I talk about, but it works well with this shoe. But underneath this is a really nice hard footbed. So you're gonna get some support. Your foot's gonna be able to collapse that. It's gonna take on a shape and it's gonna to form to your foot. I think that's kind of what you want for a shoe like this, is you want it to take on some sort of memory to your foot so that when you do put these on, whether it's a slow work day, whether it's a full work day, or an after work shoe just to walk the dog in or take the kids to the park, you want something that's going to be comfortable. Now, I don't think I need to tell you it's lightweight. You can just tell. I mean, shoes like this are never going to be heavy. It's a very lightweight shoe. Having these on your feet is going to feel more like you just put your house slippers on. Now, sizing on these bad boys, it comes in European sizes, 39 through 48, with some half sizes available in between some of those sizes. So all in all, the Scarpa Mojito, definitely something you want to look at if you're looking for an after work or if you're an indoor worker and you got to run around a lot and you got to climb a lot inside and you don't need a safety shoe, definitely look at the Scarpa Mojito. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. So that's the Scarpa Mojito. Definitely not a work shoe, but it can cross over from the casual hiking market into the work world. If you've ever worn the Mojito, 
please comment below. Let guys know what you thought about it. Is it as comfortable as I find it to be? Is it as supportive as I find it to be? Please comment below. Hey, if you want to know more about the Mojito, if you want to see some detailed photos of it, if you want to know about the European to US size exchange and how you can transfer your sizes from your basic US 10s, 11s, and 12s into your 44s and 46s, stop by thebootguy.com. There I'll have a really nice size and scale, some detailed photos of this beautiful little shoe, and just everything else I offer at thebootguy.com. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you've got any questions about purchasing a pair of these, or just boots in general, shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.